This video is for people that own the Chinese diesel heater and get an E08 error code. And every time this comes up on the internet, there's always someone that says, It's your fuel pump. No, it's not. And I'll explain why. E08 or E08 error codes. A lot of people talk about them. A lot of people talk about them online, and if you mention E08, there's always someone that pops up and says, It's your fuel pump. No, it's not. That's not what E08 means. E E08 means flame out. Now, whether it's flame out while it's running or it doesn't run at all E08 means it did not fire up it's gone out and uh, there's a few reasons why that can happen but a dead giveaway is if you look at your exhaust you try and start it up and all you get is clouds of smoke uh, white smoke that is unburnt diesel and there's a reason for that and I'm going to talk about it um, that's dark in there. <laughs> um, let's put a torch over the top of it. Yeah, um, this was carboned up. It was a Chinese diesel, diesel heater that didn't work, and the person that owned it didn't want it and had basically scrapped it. And I can see why, because they missed a trick. Now, these heaters can carbon up over a period of time, particularly if you run them on low settings constantly for long periods of time uh, because it doesn't give it a chance to burn off all the the carbon and you know they did get black after a while uh, just to give you an idea here's a new one uh, and uh, what happens is people clean them they clean out the combustion chamber that covers this and they'll clean here and they'll clean here and they'll spend a while and they'll take the little mesh out of there and they'll clean that and they fire it up and they still get clouds of smoke and an EOA and there's a reason for that if you look down the bottom here now I made this little tool it's one millimeter well one and a half millimeter actually um, solid steel that's what it is I can't remember what I got it off it, was something, it wasn't a coat hanger by the way uh, but the reason I use this is because is it allows me, hopefully you can see this, I can get in past the side, then it will twist it. And the reason why you want to do that is these burners clog up right down there. That's what's causing the E08 error, or usually, there's a few reasons for it, but this is a common one, especially with the white smoke. And it's driving you mad. You've stripped the heater down so many times, keep asking the question online and you still get that it's your fuel pump you can end up chasing your own tail I tell you yeah these things get really carboned up now if we look down the glow plug hole um, I took this picture earlier and you see that gauze right at the end that sits right around the edge of that under this lip um, in, in most cases you can't remove that ring um, I think allegedly one person has managed to get one out but as far as I know they're spot welded or caught by this weld here um, a bit further down that is it sits about there actually but they are really tight fit you won't get it out you'll wreck it trying to get it out here yeah. which is a pain because you can't really clean the back of the burn chamber so well so what you can do is you could buy yourself a set of these um, hooks and picks I only picked these because they were smaller than the well-known Sealy brand. They're quite big ones, those. Uh, but in the end, despite buying those, I found that was the best. I literally get it in there under the lip and just work me right round. And I crunch and scrape away all the carbon around there. It does take you a while. Um, here's a picture of some of the carbon. Look, it's a pound coin, just to give you reference. I did that five times with the same, same amount of carbon every time. 
uh, and also when you look down the glow plug hole you see that lip towards the end what happens is the carbon builds up on that and what's and the back of the burn chamber is all clogged up uh, this one looks like it is but it's not actually I've cleaned that one there even though it's a bit dark in there um, but the back of the burn chamber all clogs up now the way these heaters work just so you've got a greater understanding of it is there's a few things going on uh, first the diesel which comes in through this pipe here there's a hole on the other side of it in this passageway and it wicks onto this stainless steel gauze and the glow plug goes in there and that's what ignites it or in theory um, but there's another wick that sits in a ring around the back there now if you think of a paraffin heater and it's not a direct comparison but they wick as well and these work in exactly the same way and when that glow plug hole gets carboned up at the bottom what's happening is the fuel instead of wicking into the back of the chamber which is where it needs to go it drips straight into here and that's what's burning well yeah it just never ignites so all you ever get is white smoke out of it no matter how many times you fire it up it'll do the same every time so you've got a choice when you get that you could either buy a new one they're not that expensive but you, of course you would have to wait for it I don't know in the UK about about £12 up to £15 something like that or <coughs> excuse me you can take this one out and clean out all that carbon you'll have to work get your gauze out you'll have to work right down the end of there use a nice bright torch so you can see what you're doing scraping it all out you would be amazed how much comes out of this thing I would suggest when I clean this one it was a good level tablespoon not teaspoon of carbon that baked on in there and uh, if you want to spend the time you can get it all out just keep tapping the thing um, if you want to help loosen it which is what I did you hit this end and especially if it's been dripping kerosene or diesel it'll still have some in there so what I suggest you is get a pair of mould grips I'll just use pliers just to show you what I mean get a pair of mould grips and blow torch right down the end of that get that really hot and you'll get clouds of smoke you'll burn off all that smoke uh, but you'll also help loosen that carbon because it's nice and hot now the thing is about zero eight errors this is a typical controller for a Chinese diesel heater now when people say it's fuel it's your fuel pump uh, these controllers are not clever you know they're not like a PC or a laptop or even like a mobile phone there is no monitor on the fuel line at all there's no sensor on it so it can't possibly know whether or not you've got fuel in your line or not um, it just says flame out, hasn't, hasn't lit. So, could be a number of reasons for that. As I say, because it's carboned up, it will restrict the flow of air through there, because you need these three things, don't you? You need fuel, you need oxygen, and you need ignition to get a satisfactory flame. So if the air is restricted, and by the way, don't bother taking this end plate off, it will not help you in the slightest, and you do need that on there. Acts as a sort of direction uh, directors to direct the fuel into the right place it, uh, the air in the right place because it swirls around in here and the air is forced through it's also forced through see that hole there you need to make sure that's clean as well you also make to make sure that when you push the gauze down it is below the level of that hole and I haven't got a gauze in front of me but it's got a seam down one side make sure that seam is opposite to the fuel line so it's on this side otherwise you could well block the fuel coming in that would also cause an e e08 error so if you're getting that and you're getting very frustrated with it and on the point of saying i'm going to throw this thing in the bin order another one chances are it's carboned up and it's not sufficient just to cl clean the combustion chamber and the burn tube of carbon you've got to get right down there in the bottom this one's quite good because that ring is slightly higher so it's much easier to get a piece of wire in there but as I say you could go that route 
Um, but the little tool I showed you, that worked really, really well. Just a right, small right angle on it. And uh, you just go around and mash it, and you just eventually you'll get it all out. You, you'll find after a while you can get around there and you can't feel any on the end of the piece of steel. And it should all go swimmingly after that. Just put yourself a new gauze in, put the burn chamber back in, new gaskets, always new gaskets, put the whole thing together, start it up, and it'll run. So that's the E08 error and what's causing it. It's flame air, it's got nothing to do with fuel pumps and I'm trying to dispel that myth because I don't know, keyboard warriors, it's just too easy for them to say that because they've read it <laughs> somewhere. Uh, but if you strip these down enough you get very familiar with them. So I say, take the time, get the carbon out the back of that burn chamber because otherwise the fuel is coming straight in here, it's dripping here, it'll drip out of the exhaust, it will drip out of your inlet air port as well, so you know, which isn't good, and you end up with fumes all over the place. You don't want that. So, like I say, get all that carbon out there. Hopefully, that explains the E08 error, and everyone will understand it. On the Eberspatcher, um, I think is it is it the D2, I think very very similar burn chamber the only difference is there are three holes on the Eberspatcher whereas these are four so they're not exactly compatible um, but otherwise they are identical in every other way I would say um, but you still can't get to the bottom of that burn chamber I, I would think if I was able to remove that ring and maybe fix it with three screws on the inside. So I don't know how it would fare in the temperature, so you can actually remove it. You could replace that um, gauze with carbon felt. It's what welders use. It's not cheap, um, but you you know you get a big sheet of it. You could cut off loads. You could replace them. Uh, but these are not like that. They are effectively sealed units, and. Uh, kind of regarded as almost disposable but if you are stuck and you're trying to fix a heater with an E08 you haven't got the carbon out and that's why hope that helps right moving on to something completely different now I'm not sponsored by these people uh, they haven't sent me a box full of them or anything like that this is just an observation uh, I went out to the co-op which is my nearest supermarket to get some milk and I spotted these and I thought oh my son might quite like those you know white twixes anyway he took one out and he looked at it and he said that's not a twix I said what do you mean he said well there's only one of them he said it's a twa I said yeah or an X he's quite right isn't he a uh, bit of an update on the diesel heater um, I've been running it pretty well 24-7 uh, overnight I turn it right down to low on alpine mode so it's just really just ticking over it just keeps the house nicely warm at the moment it's around uh, well it's going to vary over this week minus three that sort of stuff I don't have my central heating on at all um, but what I do is I keep all the doors open and you might think well that's a bit of an inconvenience well not really I mean the winter months are pretty short aren't they uh, it gets very warm in the kitchen uh, and normally it's not it's freezing cold in this kitchen uh, and upstairs it's 23 degrees I've got a little office front bedroom which is the furthest part of the house and it's 23 degrees in there honestly I can sit in there in a t-shirt and I'm not spending as much as I would have been if I'd been running the gas central heating so a big thumbs up for that and uh, I'm getting very used to the way these things work and taking them apart takes you about 20 minutes but you don't need a degree in engineering stripped down a diesel here they are very simple uh, so yeah I'm really happy with it but a, a few people online asked me they said are you really eating your whole house with us yep um, so it does work um, I've got an all-in-one unit that's inside and I've had some criticism there's some saying oh you've got to make sure that exhaust sealed yes I know I use very good quality clamps I don't use the ones that come with the diesel here they're weak very flimsy things you want really good strong clamps and exhaust paste and it's fine and I've got um, I've got monitors 
in the area I've also got a handheld one so I can take readings of it nothing absolute big fat zero and uh, my exhaust goes out into the garden so it's not a problem at all uh, it's costing me I'm guessing it depends how much I run it uh, some nights if it's mild I'll just turn it off don't need it because I don't want a hot bedroom a lot of people don't like hot bedrooms uh, or if it's going to be zero or sub-zero I'll just have it on very very low uh, first thing in the morning crank it up very high get the house up to temperature as soon as it's up to temperature drop it back down to low and it generally stays warm all day you know as long as we kept all the doors shut um, so cost wise it's around I'm using around about 20 litres in just over a month which is about 30 quid so seven quid a week if that you know it's pretty cheap to run anyway sorry it's not the usual rails house but I did want to cover the E08 error because it's been driving me mad listening to people talk complete twaddle about it so I just thought I'd explain it so everyone understands and they don't get frustrated when it won't start up and they're getting clouds of smoke come out of it you could have a difficult pump uh, but if you've got clouds of smoke coming out, then it's getting fuel, isn't it? It's not going to be your fuel pump. It's more likely carboned up. So, hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.